from World Showcase at Epcot. It is episode three of Disney 100 Jeopardy. Welcome in, I'm your host, Brian Perry. Over 50,000 of you tuned into the first two episodes, so we're back with 26 brand new clues to test your knowledge on all things Disney. So with that, let's take a look at the categories. First category is World Showcase. That's apropos. Then it's Disney on Broadway. Third category is Woof, each answer having to do something with a Disney dog. Next up is Cruisin'. That's a Disney Cruise Line related. And finally, it is While You Wait, each answer having to do with a Disney World pre-show. So let's get things started with World Showcase for 200. Mexico's mesmerizing pavilion is home to shops, bars, and the Grand Fiesta Tour, starring this member of the Fab Five. The answer there is Donald Duck. Donald, the number one duck not named Gordon Bombay. Next up, it's Disney on Broadway for 200. This is the highest grossing show in Disney on Broadway history. That would be the legendary Lion King. The Lion King. On to Woof for 200. Mickey's best pal. Pluto. Pluto is the answer there. Mickey's best friend is loyal dog Pluto. Pluto, you're ripped! On to Cruisin for 200. Disney's private island. That would be what is Castaway Key. Castaway Key, Disney's private island, complete with a abandoned runway. And finally, in the 200-point round, while you wait, of course, there's always my way. And that would be the legendary stretching room of the Haunted Mansion. Of course, there's always my way. <laughs> That wraps up the 200-point round. We like to call that the cupcake round. Hopefully you did pretty well. On to 400 now. We start with World Showcase. This pavilion joined Mexico and Norway as the only ones to feature a ride after it added one in 2021. We're looking for France. France, who added Remy. Remy the Ratatouille, the rat of all of our dreams, the ride in 2021. Next up, it's Dizzy on Broadway for four. The early 90s saw Disney restore this legendary theater on the middle of 42nd Street. That would be the new Amsterdam Theater, currently home to Disney's Aladdin. On to Woof for 400. He's Goofy's only son. We're looking for Max. Max, Goofy's only son. On to Cruisin for 400. You're aboard the Disney Dream and ready to take your turn on this exciting water slide. That would be the Aqua Duck. The Aqua Duck, not to be confused with the Aqua Mouse. And finally, it's While You Wait for 400. Rise to the challenge. Good luck. The pre-show there would be from Flight of Passage, Avatar, one of the greatest rides of all time. Steve Hope, rise to the challenge. Good luck. On to the 600 point round now. Home to Rose and Crown. The category is World Showcase. And that is the United Kingdom, the UK pavilion, right between France and Canada. Here's Disney on Broadway for six. Disney's first Broadway musical. The answer there is Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. Moving on to Woof for six. A hound dog who happens to be good friends with a fox named Todd. We're looking for Copper, who is Copper, from the animated film Fox and the Hound. Now it's Cruisin' for six. 
This ship became Disney's fifth after debuting in 2022. And that would be the Disney Wish. The Disney Wish became the fifth ship in the fleet following the Magic Wonder, Dream, and Fantasy. And finally, rounding out the 600-point round, it's while you wait for six. Trust me, what could go wrong? Ah, uh, that's Dr. Seeker from Dinosaur, one of the best pre-shows of all time, which reminds me, check out our list of the top 10 Walt Disney World pre-shows, available now on our YouTube page. We are moving on to the more difficult rounds. It's World Showcase to start off the 800-point section. You'll find a massive mural in this pavilion covering what was supposed to be the country's signature attraction. Unfortunately, it never got built. The answer there is Germany. You can actually see the mural next time you head to Quick Service or Beer Garden in the Germany Pavilion. Just look to the right opposite the Beer Garden entrance and you'll see the mural, which was supposed to be Germany's signature attraction. Again, never got built. Now Disney on Broadway for 800. Based on the 1992 film of the same name, Newsies ran on Broadway from 2012 to 2014. The man behind the music was also responsible the score of The Little Mermaid. Who else but Alan Menken? Alan Menken is responsible for a lot of those tunes that are stuck in your head. Now it's Woof for 800. New York's coolest canine, Dodger from Oliver and Company, sings this tune while strolling through the Big Apple. And it is one of Disney's most underrated tunes, Why Should I Worry, performed by Dodger, but really voiced by Billy Joel. I've got New York City hearts. Why should I worry? Why should I care? Now it's cruising for eight. Star Wars Day at Sea took place on this vessel beginning in 2016. We're looking for the Disney Fantasy. The Disney Fantasy, now home to Pixar Day at Sea, but never forget Star Wars Day at Sea, mainly because I worked on it. <laughs> on to While You Wait for 800. Patrick Warburton voices both Joe and Family Guy and Kronk in Emperor's New Groove, but you might spot him on the pre-show for this Walt Disney World attraction. The answer is Soren at Epcot. Patrick plays Patrick, your chief flight attendant, before you board your hang glider. And we're on to the most difficult round of all. 1,000 points each. Good luck. This unbuilt pavilion was set to join Phase 2 of World Showcase, but was never built. It even featured an indoor sky ride. And the final World Showcase answer is Venezuela. That's right, a Venezuelan pavilion along with Spain and a few others were supposed to be built as part of Phase 2 of World Showcase at Epcot. Never happened. The funding never came in. It's unfortunate because look at that again. Looks pretty nice. Moving on to Disney on Broadway for 1,000. Sir Elton John stunned audience members when he stormed out of a preview of this show just 15 minutes after it had begun. A show he had written the score to, no less. We're looking for Aida. Aida had Sir Elton not happy in the early previews. Now, Woof's most difficult clue. This pup from 101 Dalmatians is known for always expressing to his mother that he's hungry. Anybody remember Rolly? Rolly is the dog's name. In 101 Dalmatians. I'm hungry, Mother. I really am. Just two clues left on the board. Here's cruising for a thousand. You'll find Donald and one of his nephews on the stern of this Disney ship. That will be Disney's second ship, the Disney Wonder. 
And the final clue on the board, while you wait for a thousand... To bring Tower of Terror to life, Imagineers inserted a maintenance elevator into the back of a clip from Season 3 of The Twilight Zone. In the original episode, host Rod Serling can be seen standing in front of this instead. You've seen maintenance service elevator in the background dozens of times, but the answer here is a map. A map. Check out the original clip featuring... Mr. Rod Serling. Tonight's story on the Twilight Zone is somewhat unique and calls for a different kind of introduction. This, as you may recognize, is a map of the United States. Tonight's story on the Twilight Zone is somewhat unique and calls for a different kind of introduction. This, as you may recognize, is a maintenance service elevator. All right, add up those scores, see how you did it. It's time to wager whatever you want in Final Jeopardy. Let's see what the category is. Remakes. Make those wagers. All right, were you conservative? Were you aggressive? Did you make the right decision? Only time will tell. Here's your final Jeopardy clue. By being initially released on Disney+, Plus, this remake of a classic Disney film became the first to go exclusively to streaming rather than theaters. Good luck. And time is up. The final Jeopardy answer. There it is. The Lady and the Tramp went straight to Disney Plus in 2019. It was Disney's first live action remake. If you really want to call it live action, because obviously there was some CGI involved. But it did not go to theaters. No, instead went right to Disney Plus. So that will do it for episode three. I hope you did well. Be honest when you when you leave a comment on how well you actually did. Was this easy? Was it hard? Give us some advice for episode four coming next Sunday. I've been your host, Brian Perry. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.